Welcome back, brothers and sisters of the brew, the coffee brew, that is. I have another great podcast of coffee I want to share with you. But before we get started, let's get into that relaxing zone, our calming mode. Remember, the Zen is in my friend. Now let us begin. Of course, we're going to take our deep breath. Breathe in the fresh aroma. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Breathe in the fresh aroma. And exhale through the mouth. That coffee aroma smells great, doesn't it? And I hear you out there. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. One more time. Breathe in through the mouth, the fresh coffee aroma. Now make sure you got your cup in hand. Breathe in. And exhale through the mouth. Now, crew of the brew, I live in the United States, and it is a great season for coffee. This is the fall season. I mean, the leaves turn, change the colors. They're falling off. At night, a cool breeze come in. And the topic of this particular podcast is the fall coffee flavors. Now, I'm going to go over a few flavors, but not all of them. And maybe in future podcasts, it's hint, hint. The next one, I'm going to go over several more fall flavors. The first fall flavor is caramel apple coffee. That name alone sounds good, don't you think? It's got me hooked right there. Now, throughout the fall season, we in the U.S., we have lots of fall festivals, carnivals, events, some rodeos. But one of the most important items at all of those events are caramel, some people say caramel, apples on a stick. Now, we've all grown up eating these things. Uh, What's incredible is that it comes in a coffee flavor. Whoever thought of this idea, thank you so much. Uh, You definitely got my attention with it. Can you slowly imagine slowly sipping warm caramel apple coffee on a cool fall morning with a nice breeze rolling in on you? That actually makes you want to get up out of that warm bed. Now also uh, imagine sleeping in that friendly soft warm bed and that flavor literally wakes you up. I mean, imagine a gentle kiss of fresh warm Granny Smith's apples covered in cinnamon and... Carmel, a soft, gentle kiss waking you up. Is there any other way to be better woken up? And the following fall flavor is a cinnamon coffee roll. Now, I love cinnamon rolls, and I love coffee. And I tried this, and I love it, too. Really to die for. You got to try this. I still ended up dunking my cinnamon roll in my coffee. And, man, the taste buds go off the chain. They just erupt with flavor. How in the world did they do this? They even got the buttercream icing. In that flavor of coffee. I mean, that is great. Imagine being woken up to that. With that alone, I can literally just sniff the coffee and be woken up. Literally be at ease, that mindset at ease. I mean, that is a really great fall flavor. And I'm going to bring this to the next one. And this is pretty much the final one of this particular podcast. Like I said in the beginning, I'm going to go over just a few. But in future podcasts, hint, hint, next one. I'm going to mention a lot more fall flavors. Now, this one is probably the most popular one of them all. Can you guess what it is? Anybody? Can anybody guess it? Any hints? Let me give you a hint. (laughs) Let me just go ahead and say it. Pumpkin spice with the whipped cream topping and the little Halloween sprinkle candies on the top. You know what I'm talking about? Now, this is my favorite fall flavor. What is yours? I tell you what, email me at www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Tell me what your favorite fall flavor is. There we go with that tongue twist. Favorite fall flavors. (laughs) Anyways, uh, I know this probably is the number one of them all. I had one at Starbucks and fell in love. The flavors. I know it's me whenever I'm drinking something or tasting something, but this particular pumpkin spice coffee. The pumpkin literally sits on your palate, and you can taste the full flavor of it. I don't want necessarily with this spice particular gentle kiss, I want to literally wake up, slap in the face. This is how good that is. You taste the pumpkin. You taste the cinnamon. You taste the whipped cream. And which is, in essence, are all flavors of fall. A couple of flavors to put, if you want to actually just have a cup of coffee, to get a fall flavor in the cup, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Great for making a fall coffee. You know, another interesting thing also when you're drinking your fall coffee, where's the perfect setting for you? Is it at a resort by a lake? Maybe 
on your Ford porch watching the sunrise? Where do you like to relax at and have your drink of coffee? Please let me know also, just out of curiosity. I know with me, I think it's just literally sitting on the front porch early morning, just in that relaxing zone, watching the sunrise early morning. That is a real good setting for me. And also, by the way, today is September the 30th, 2021, as me of recording this. Now, in the United States, October 1st is the National Coffee Day. And let me be the first to say, happy coffee day. Enjoy your coffee. Hey, also, if you know any other fellow coffee lovers, be sure and share the podcast with them. This is our hangout, brothers and sisters of the brew. Enjoy the rest of your work week. I hope the next work week is better than the previous work week. And you take care. Fellow coffee lover, thanks for listening. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning, Central USA. Also, sharing is caring. So tell a fellow coffee lover about your new hangout. To contact us, just go to our website, www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care and remember to always keep brewing.